Now, yeah. there's another marching group, um, the Highland Light Scottish Pipe Band, that's going, which is very, very different from right. the high school band. So talk and to that, me a little bit about them. Of course, they're named after the Truro Lighthouse out on the Cape Cod. I was so gonna, I, a I, Highland I was Light. Ask you that. So they're local in that sense, but they're portraying a history of antiquity. You see, the pipe, the drum, and the pipe, those two basic instruments goes back to antiquity. It's mentioned in the Bible in Genesis 4. It's mentioned in uh, ancient civilizations, Egyptian, uh, lots of civilizations. We see the carvings and whatnot of these ancient idea. Yep. Of course, eventually evolved into the bagpipe, as right. we see out of Scotland. Yep. So very patriotic. Yeah. The cadence of the drum is the discipline, and the tune is the tune of liberty. What are you defending? Mm -hmm. And that has been throughout history. Right. But boy, these folks are good. Now, are, do young people learn this in bands today? I'm not so sure how much they learn about the history because I've given some history talks in front of them and they're like, wow, well, that's interesting to know. But I think for the people who are observing this, this is an historic parade. Right. We want people to ask the questions historically. Okay. We want them to learn something. Sure. So watching Highland Light Scottish Pipe Band come down the street, not only it's from Cape Cod, sure. Yeah. But this is representing a history that goes far deeper than that and far far back. Okay, let's watch it. While that may not sound like music to your ears now, no parade worth its salt can do without a good pipe and drum band. These pipes just happen to not have any bags attached to them. Here in the Cape, this band was sitting down for its first practice of the season. The place is the Weary Travelers Club in Bourne, Massachusetts, and this is where the Highland Light Scottish Pipe Band of Cape Cod comes together to practice. Of course, they're using their practice instruments, meaning practice chanters and drum pads, because real bagpipes and real drums would be entirely too loud, and the neighbors would definitely complain. We'll head on in right now and take a listen. Okay, I was kidding about the neighbors, but the practice instruments did make it easier to film this. Pipe major Sheldon Hamlin gave us the rundown of what the band was practicing on their first night. We've uh, gathered together three new tunes that we've combined into a march set. Brand new tunes that we need to learn to play together. A lot of the pipers know the individual tunes themselves, but not together as a band. We learn them together on the chanter, slowly, and then bring them up to speed, memorize them, and then put them on the pipes. And at that point, we get together with the drums and make sure that the two cores play well together, the ensemble. Anytime your band gets to play in a parade, it's a pretty special event. But the Thanksgiving Day Parade in Plymouth offers something a little extra special for many of the members of this band. About a third of our members live in Plymouth. We have, um, oh, we have a few pipers and probably more than half of our drum line all live in Plymouth, mostly South Plymouth. Not only do the band members have strong ties to Plymouth, but this pipe and drum band has been playing in this parade since the very first one in 1996. It's important to us to do the parade because we think of that as our hometown parade as well. And when we march, you know, when we march in that parade, we wear our full dress uniform instead of something a little less or something, the, the uniform that really stands out as the Scottish uniform. The full uniform consists of 22 different components, which Alan Hoyt was kind enough to display, starting with the kilt, the hose tops, spats, and black blade tucked into the sock. Everything right down to the last detail, until he eventually looked like this, the Scottish pipe band drum major. Maybe it's just my Celtic background speaking right now, but I am definitely looking forward to seeing this group march in the upcoming parade in Plymouth. Reporting from Bourne at the Weary Travelers Club, I'm Brian Sullivan for PCN. Much better, much better, much better. So a very, very different type of, of band than we saw from the high school. Right, and you know, they're, they're practicing those instruments because you see a, a bagpipe has that double reed, like an oboe, mm -hmm. like a clarinet. I, have, I played the oboe when I was in high school. So I recognize how that's difficult to do. You really have to, to get that down. But you know, most people rec need to recognize that like the Highland Lot like Scottish pipe band, and a lot of these came from the military. Mm -hmm. The idea of going on parade, mm -hmm. in that sense, is displaying your discipline, yep. displaying your ability, and music has always had a major part in all the military sure. uh, areas, and so here we have them in the precision, but this is what we love about this parade. It's so historically accurate, yeah. down to the buttons on your coats. Very, very, uh, they take pride in that. Oh yeah. And that's why we have an historic village. 
right. uh, in, at the Parade Duel so that people can see them, they can do a dress drill, things yeah. like that. So. And, and again, this is such interesting information that oh, as yeah. you watch the parade go by, you say, oh, doesn't that look great? And wow, I love the costumes. But you don't really realize how much right. authenticity right. goes into it. Exactly. And that's why having a little chance to just discuss that will enhance people's ability to view it. Now they're going to say, hey, I got to go see them. You know what I mean? Exactly. And it's, down to their shoelaces. It's fascinating. It, it is historically accurate. it must be heavy accurate. to wear all that. Oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that's why you have to practice carrying those instruments. Sure. And, and then marching. My brother was a uh, a drummer who marched in parades, and it is not easy to march and keep the cadence exactly. Oh, I'm correct. sure. Again, the discipline That's right. comes through. There's right. The